in the person of Prophet Johannes. Can you celebrate God? is very powerful. The apostle is always inspired to bring all the gifts of God to be in the house in order that God's people may be equipped for the glory that is ahead of them. I want to thank you for being a sacrifice the lives of these people. And sometimes they are not appreciated. But I know God in heaven really know how bad man is. That's how he will reward, he will reward us that took care of men more. You have your animals that won't fail you. You have human beings that will even kill you. So with this kind of heart to spend all this see that the glory of the Lord comes down. I want you to have, as you hold the hand of that person, I want you to pray. Ah, Shontaraya, that this night will not pass them by. A lot has been invested for us to be here. From all the investment, the guest speakers and everything, and even, even your own transport. All this investment joined together. So this is not a union of some careless people that gather. It has taken a lot for us to gather. And I believe God is seeing it as a sacrifice. And I want you to pray for that person. Lord, this one I'm holding their hand. They will not go back the same. Can you open your mouth and pray for that person? Let this night be a night. Let all this sacrifice be rewarded. 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 Let it be rewarded. Let it be rewarded. Let it not go unrewarded. Let it not go. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's be seated in the presence of the living God. I want to thank God for CAP 2023. I must admit it's been from glory to glory. Hallelujah. We thank God for I thank God for the kind of friend, the kind of mentor, senior brother, Dr. Lenwell is to me. I'm happy the day I met you. I know the people that introduced you to me, or they introduced me to you, they told me, be careful with that guy. Say, be careful. Oh. I even asked them, so now they tell them, ask me careful for missing a half said I'm gifted but I'm not a bad man. That's the statement I made. Amen. <laughs> and I know you have not regretted for six years today and I promise you will not regret it. Wow. For Papa Chris that day I celebrate you. I love your kind of person. Amen. And for the apostle I'm meeting for the first time be interceding for me and put my mistakes under because I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. So put the 
these people are really used to my mistakes. So find a place to be having mercy, not judgment. Hallelujah. Are you there? Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, priest. I will call you priest. And I salute your priestly ministry. I salute you. I salute you. You took us to heaven. I felt the glory. And I was broken. Thank you. Give a hand clap to that. <laughs> Hallelujah. As you all know, I'm happy they took us to heaven. But we have to go to hell. That's my ministry. That's my ministry. That's my ministry. I'm not called to take people in an atmosphere to heaven. But that's why I also join and go to heaven when they are sending us to heaven. But as God called Moses, he said, Moses, I'm sending you to hell, Pharaoh's house. The only man, there were people that God called and just went with them. When he met Enoch, they just discussed and went up. I don't know how much he loved Enoch that he did not even allow him to do any earthly ministry. I know he wrote a few books, but him and Enoch, they just, they just went. Hallelujah. But when he called Moses, he said, I'm sending you back to hell. Amen. I'm sending you to Pharaoh's house because there are issues in Pharaoh's house to handle. I give a hand clap to the Lord. So, yeah, so the procedure to go to Pharaoh's house is quite different from the procedure to go to heaven. Amen. Amen. Yeah. When going to the temple up there is different. When descending is different. Hallelujah. So get said. I was happy when the worship was going on. I said, oh, I'm gathering speed so that I will go to hell faster. Amen. We'll go to hell faster. And I promise you, we'll not come back empty-handed. In the name of Jesus. Cap is the only place when I come, I'm confused. But it's just that sometimes I want to flow like somebody else, then I adjust. Like when I hear teachers teach here, I'm like, blood of God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Are you ready tonight? Go with me to Matthew chapter 25 verse 18. Matthew 25 verse 18. Matthew 25 verse 18. Mm -hmm. Let the atmosphere just be like this. If you are not even that your sound is tempting me to go to heaven, then that sound, you know now when I start here, you will not be able to handle it. So let me talk some few things before we travel. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 25, verse 18. Wow. But he that he that had received one went and digged the earth and hid his Lord money. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. See, I'm like, which one should I be looking? This one or this one? Okay. But we have these treasures. Very good thing. We have these treasures in eighteen vessels. That the excellency of this power may be of God and not of us. Matthew chapter 5 verse 15 to 16. Matthew chapter 5, verse 15 to 16. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on the candlestick that it may give it light unto all that are 
in the house. Holy Spirit, we thank you this evening. Let your hand come upon me so strong. Let your presence fall in this place. That we will be able to apprehend, to discern in revelation, even in trance this moment, and to grab that which is ours for your glory. That your glory, the glory we seek, the glory, the heavy glory, the cabal, the glory will be seen by the whole world. And by the, by the strength of this glory, the gospel will be transported. That this that this sanctuary, this commission, this vision will not be limited to this town, but the glory that will, that will ascend it above and to spread will come down tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Come on, say a good amen. amen. Where is my treasure? 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 I can see my treasure. Where is my treasure? Where is my treasure? I want to see my treasure. I'm looking for my treasure. Where is my treasure? He hid his Lord's treasure under the ground. He buried the Lord's treasure. It was not given to be buried. The he that had access to it, that was a wrong person, buried it. Why the five talent is multiplying? Because one, one plant, another waters, God multiply. Why God is multiplying the five? Why God is multiplying the two? He's looking for the one. To multiply, he's not seeing it. Where is my treasure? Where is my treasure? It should be somewhere. Let me multiply it. I give every treasure the potential of multiplication. But now, I am seeing only five. I'm multiplying it. I'm seeing the two. I'm multiplying it. But I'm looking for the one. And that one is the greatest above the two and above the five. Because God will always put great things in small things. He will always put wisdom in foolishness. He said the most seed is the greatest seed. But the potential of the tree inside is bigger than every tree. The one was the greatest. The one was the greatest. He buried it where God could not see it. And God wants to multiply. He put his Lord, not his enemies on his Lord, under the ground. And God is looking for it. God is looking for it. I've told you, any problem you have is equally God's trouble. There's no problem that any human being has that is not God's trouble. Every problem of a man is God's trouble. God is the first person in trouble. You are just the auxiliary. He's the main man in trouble. You don't get what I said. God is always the one at trouble. That's why he will always come and trouble some prophet. He said, please go and tell that my boy to repent. Because heaven is shaking for what is about to happen. You don't get what I said. The money, the wrong man grab it. The wrong man stand on the queue. It was not meant for him. It was not meant for him. There were three people. Three that God wants to give. 
you know there were three there were three he gave five to this man he gave two to this man and the wrong person came to collect the biggest one in order to hide it under the ground the wrong person grabbed it now the problem is why god is looking for it the right person is looking for it God is not crying his own tears. He's crying the tears of the right person who is not with his own treasure. You don't get what I say. When wrong people grab the right thing, they do what they were born to do with it. You don't get what I said. They do what they were born to do with it. They do what they were born to do with it. God is crying. Why you are looking for your treasure? You are looking for your treasure. God is looking for his treasure. So Apostle Paul said it this way. And I'm going to contradict many things. But forgive me, we're going to discuss tomorrow in our class. But help me walk as a prophet this day. But Apostle Paul said, these treasures are in eating vessel. I beg your pardon. Eating vessel is not the best place to keep a thing. It's not God who said I keep it there. It's Apostle Paul who saw it there. But didn't know who kept it there. You don't get what I said. I'm about to talk something here. I'm about to talk something here. I'm about to talk something here. Apostle Paul said, he said, but, but, but though it is inside of the earthly vessel, God has allowed it so that his power, so that his power, so that his power will bring it out of that earthly vessel. His power will bring it out of the earth. I want to start shouting too early. I want to start shouting too early. Listen, listen. <laughs> Apostle Paul is reporting that he is seeing treasure. But where he is seeing the treasure, they are in earthly vessel. You know earthly vessel? Earthly vessel are found in Babalao's shrine. That's where you see earthly vessel. It's called country pot. No, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming with you tonight. It's called country pot. It's called eating vessel. You know how I know it? The Bible says in the great house, there are vessels of gold and silver. How come your own, your own is not inside of the gold own? Your own is inside of the eating vessel. Eating vessels are under the earth. Golden vessels are up. No, 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 you don't get what I said. You don't get what I said. Treasures are not meant to be under treasures are meant to be up this light is a treasure if this bulb is a treasure it's a treasure because it's source illumination you don't get what i said so if this, if this light was under here we would be in trouble we would have been looking for our light you don't get what i said but now god thank god for this light that is not under anywhere you see darkness their own light is under In a great house, there are vessels. Some are already up, some are down. Matthew chapter 5, verse 15 to 16. He said, let your light so shine before men. He said, ah! God says, I see an abomination. They have light a candle, but it is inside of the earth. It is under the earth. It is not up. I don't know if it is shining, but it is not shining because we are not feeling its impact. You don't get what I said. It ought to be up, but now it is under. Where is my treasure? Where is my treasure? Where is my treasure? God is in trouble. We are in problems. Anytime God is in trouble, it's because I'm in problem. Ooh. Every man, every child came to Everyone born into this world, live in this life, life is a journey. We came to a journey where our treasures are at every position of our life. When somebody is born, he's born to enter into their treasures. Can I tell it to you? It is not your parents that are your source. The universe has its potential to supply every human being. But the Bible says that Mary was broke and 
Joseph was broke. And when they give birth to another broke child called Jesus, he was broke and born in a broke place. But his strength. But from the east, from the east, they saw the star. And bless God. Because his treasure was not under the ground. His treasure was in the hands of people waiting for the day he will be born. Oh God, I don't know about you. Before you were born, your treasure was buried. That's why you are 40 years without your treasure. That's why. without eyes he had to pray for eyes see those who have eyes will tell you they don't pray to have eyes because they don't have an experience for praying for eyes <laughs> you cannot be they give birth to them they were seen already but when they get back to blind Bartimeo, he was not seen and so he has to develop the revelation for his side get what I'm talking about. I find out, ladies and gentlemen, that I was, I, my treasures are locked up. And that's why I'm provoked to create a revelation that will give me my potential. Anytime you are in some difficulties, don't cry. Let the heat of the difficulties hit you. Then it will provoke you to get the revelation of your situation in order to come out. I prophesy right now that your revelation is coming tonight. It's a revelation. And so the Bible says blind Bartomeu, he was the only one that had the revelation of the son of David. Sometimes we call him the Messiah. Sometimes we call him the son of David. I don't know how you call him, but I'm going to call him based on my revelation. And my revelation is born from my situation. Treasure is your source and not your meat. Treasure is not what we consume. Treasure is what produce. So the Bible says, some are eating bread, some have seed. The seed is their treasure. And so the Bible says, he gives bread to eaters and gives seed to sowers. That's not true. Because God is not partial. Why should he give bread to eaters? And give seed to sower. Who was born a sower? Who was born a eater? Everybody will sow it. And everybody will eat so. The problem is. When the eater woke up from life. He saw only what to eat. So he was called. He thanked God for bread. For eating. When the sower got up. He had both bread and seed. Now, the way the person didn't write it complete, he would have said he gave bread to Ita and gave bread and seed to the sower. <laughs> we'll complete it. Okay, okay. <laughs> so there are people that physically, reality, they are living from hand to mouth because bread is provided. So they thank God. But unfortunately, there are even those who were born and didn't even see what to eat. So when they pray 
and the breakthrough in the place of what to eat, their pride takes over them. They don't know that the future is going to the place where you have bread and where you have a seed. Don't aim at bread. Let's go to the level of seed. I bless you. You get what I say. There are three men's treasure. Sit down. There are three men's treasure that we're going to be looking at tonight and praying for them. There are three men's treasures of life. The first treasure is men. There are men that are treasures to others. There are men. I told you treasure was not a bread. Treasure was a seed. There are men that are treasure to others. There are children that grew up. It's, there's a child that grew up. His name was Solomon. And after he grew up, his father gave him all what it takes to fulfill the will of God. He was born to see everything. Your father may be that man. Your father may not be that man. But for every child, there must be a man. There must be a man. Hit the person next to you. Have you met the man? Have you met the man? You know, I and my, I and my younger brother... We developed a philosophy about women. And so we said, please thank God for those who are married. Please, every morning, struggle to make your wife happy. When you are coming to the house, buy even granite for 50. Because women have a problem. And they have a problem because in their DNA, when God created women, they create women for Adam. And they did create women for the fallen man. I, I, I have a problem right here. So women are wired to love the real Adam. But unfortunate for them, they were the one that pulled down the real Adam. And so the Adam we have now is the fallen Adam. Now, no, you don't get what I'm saying. And, 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 and so, and so, and so, and so, and so, this fallen Adam is going to have a lot of fallacy because he's a fallen Adam. Stop looking for the real Adam. Mama, you gave, her, you gave him the, the, the fruit in the garden and the real Adam is dead. You can meet a wife who said the husband is the best. He will say, my husband is good, but yeah, yeah. That but is because the real Adam is dead. Oh. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? It was Adam that fall. It's not Eve that fall. But the falling Adam is going to give the, unf the unfalling Eve a falling atmosphere. <laughs> my wife can't dress above my capacity to dress her. <laughs> so when you see my wife, she reflect my shame or my glory. <laughs> she doesn't have a problem. So, the man has fallen. Tell your neighbor, he's fallen. He's fallen already. Shout a good amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. There was a man that the Bible says in 2 Kings chapter 7 verse 1 and 2. There were two kinds of men. The Bible said there was a king in whose there was a guy, a lord in who the king leans on his hand. He was a treasure to the king. Listen to me. Feminine or not feminine, those with treasures are going up. The famine of the land is coming to punish the broke. It's not coming to punish men of source. The king was not hungry because there was a lord that he was leaning on. A king needed his own helper. Sometimes you think the king is a rich man. Every king has who is paying him back back tight or back back tax. Yeah. 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 Kings don't create money. Kings receive 
money. So to be a king doesn't make you rich. When you are a king and you don't have the men that have to sustain the throne, you'll be called a poor king. You don't get what I said. The crown can only be sold for money. But the crown does not produce money. So even the king needs help. Even the king needs help. So the Bible says there was a guy that the king was eating from his treasure. That guy was born and his treasure was not lost. He was canard, but he has his treasure. Haven't you seen blind and spiritual? Haven't you seen sight and arrogant? What they're talking about. He was born to meet his treasure. So even in famine, he enjoyed his treasure. Thank God for people who didn't have witches and wizards in their family. No bad auntie. No bad uncle. You wrote all levels. You just had it. Eleven paper. You start business, you just go ahead. For some of us, who go, who are. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> My own father looked at me and he said to me, <laughs> uh, You will not see help in life. My own father told me like that. He said, you look up and look down. You will never see help in life. For nothing's sake, the familiar spirit of our family saw that Johannes was supposed to go somewhere and provoke him for nothing I did. He just in pleasure cursed me. Don't get what I said. He said, Don't get what I said. So, the only good thing I did, call means up, Chomo means down. So when I look up, I tight my eyes. David says, I look up to the hills where come in my help. My help will come from the Lord that maketh the heavens and the earth. Give a hand clap to the Lord. Where is my man? The another source is a spiritual source. When you have a physical man that can sponsor you, you don't need to go and look for a prophet. Allow us poor people to look for prophet to prophesy our finance. If you have your money without a prophet, God bless you. But I know of a woman that they were coming to carry her children for corridor security. And she did not go to the king. She went to a spiritual man. Uh, 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 uh. But sometime, uh, even your own spiritual man has been buried. Uh, and so tonight, we will do some digging. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know, man of God, uh, that Elisha, uh, and the problem is, those who are physically blessed, they always mock those who want to be spiritually blessed. Uh, because when Elisha said, by this time tomorrow, uh, Every poor man is going to be rich. The guy said to Elisha, get out from here. I don't see the possibilities where this is going to happen. We sit and we decide the economic condition of the world. In my last economic meeting where we came from, the, 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 the situation is that a Cameroon is owing us much and then they are going to take the money. So you can prophesy against what we have planned. Because economic situation is not natural, it's always uh, a plan. In economics, they tell us that when the society has money, the government is going to make mechanism to get back the money with inflation or whatever you can call it. And so, so every shortage or scarcity is always artificial. And so it's either spiritually planned or physically planned. By tonight, we are going to break some protocols. If I'm talking to you on fire. The spiritual man. Let me rush. Sit down. Let me rush. We are not yet there. Let me rush. Okay, thank you. I thought you were coming to draw me paper for time. <laughs> I would have said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Listen. So, 
Elisha prophesied. But the king was leaning on a physical man. When you don't have a physical man, look for a spiritual man. Are you getting what I'm saying? Don't be confused. When you see them in their car, you say they did not pray. Blind Bartumia is the only one that we saw prayed for sight. And many man will get eye, not they pray for eye. Who were the bunny eating into millions? Does not pray for money. Even the door of the church, he does not know. Jesus even said, I've come for the sick and not the cure. Anybody who is here, who doesn't have one problem, please, you can start going now. Come tomorrow when this man will be leading us for worship. Because now, I want to deal with people with situation. Worship God. Let them come and thank God. <laughs> Let them not be in my service. Because I am here for those who have issues. I am here for the Pakororo. I, I, I am here for the disadvantage. I'm here. Prophesy. There was food. A time came when famine also came. Some people started looking for Elisha. They did not see him again. Where was he? He was a treasure. Apostle Paul is my witness. I said, Apostle Paul, where is uh, Elisha? He said, Elisha is a treasure. I said, where is him? He said, he's under the earth. He said, this treasure is an earthly vessel. Elisha. Paul saw Elisha in the earth. The man who needed a treasure spiritually at that time did not see it because Elisha was under the ground. Do you know, Papa? And now let's be honest. There are times that we perform some miracles very easy, but there are times that they don't happen. You know, that time we are already under. Let them know here. That time we are already under. There are days where I woke up, I said 24 hours, 1 million is entering my pocket. In 24 hours, we have 1 million plus. But there are days that I say in two weeks, we're going to have 100,000. In two weeks, we don't have 25. That day, the prophet was. <laughs> As opposed to Paul, he would tell you that the other day he cast out the devil from one girl. But the other night he was in prison. You don't get what I said. This life is a journey of going to the market, celebration, and mourning. But you must be able to be sensitive. When you don't see your treasure, look for it. Because what you don't look for, you will not see. What you don't see, you will not grab. So we have men here. We have the physical men. We have the spiritual man. The physical man is for a particular lady. The guy that may marry you may be a very rich man. Who you have married him and become rich. But I know of a lady called Esther. Even when she married the man, she was still not part of the wealth until she has to do some digging. Tell your neighbor, get your knees, let's do some digging. The other source of treasure is physical things, articles, articles. After men, the another treasure is article. While David was dying, he allowed articles to, to Solomon. The man is dead, but the article is alive. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know children that when their father died, they become rich. I don't know about you, but I know people. <laughs> we do not hear about them anywhere. When their father died, we start seeing them in Omar Jeep. The man died, but the article was alive. What the father left became their treasure. That's why the Bible says, the man buried the article. The man buried the money. The man buried your source. 
I don't know who I'm talking to right now. Wherever they are buried your money, it shall resurrect this night. I said, wherever they are buried your money, it shall resurrect this night. Listen to me. You don't work and get money. You work and get your money. Jesus said, Peter toiled in the sea the whole day. Jesus said to him, oh boy, throw your net, you will catch. He threw his net. When Jesus has already uncovered his fish, the fish of Peter was covered. It doesn't matter how Peter will fish from today till tomorrow. Your Alcada will not carry anybody. You will finish the petrol, half only petrol. You took it for balance and take. They will take it from you. If you become too stubborn, they will steal it. You don't work the money. You work your money. This principle has made me never to jealous. Because, Apostle, you can never succeed my success. It's not possible. Why all this, brother, this is that? You can't succeed my success. You know why? You cannot even pour my poverty. No, you don't get, you don't get, you don't get what I'm saying. <laughs> nobody can pour your poverty. And so nobody can get your property. You don't get what I said. Let me hear Lord as amen from behind. Hallelujah. Physical things. I'm rushing. Physical things is money, gold, silver. And the third thing is the presence of God. The presence of God is another source and the greatest treasure. When the glory of God comes down, it provides. When the glory of God comes down, it provides. The presence of God, it provides joy. The presence of God, it provides favor. That's what the Bible and God said to Moses, I am going to give favor so that when you go out, the Egyptian who were bad to you, they will relate not to you, but to my favor. The presence of God, the glory of God, it provides favor. But I tell you the truth, just like anything can be missing, even the presence of God can be stolen. Mark it, mistake number one. We'll correct it tomorrow. <laughs> First Samuel chapter 5, verse 2 to 7. It's a long reading. Faster, please. First Samuel chapter 5, verse, from verse 2 to 7. A Apostle said it yesterday. Are you there? Yes. First Samuel chapter 5. My next will be Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 6 to 12. So I have it in advance. Let me be organized for the first time. Hallelujah. When the Philistines took the act of God, <laughs> they took the act of God. Trouble there. Eh, eh. They took the money. They buried it. They took the prophet. They buried it. Now, the act of God. Waiting people to touch die. They still carry trouble there. Come on here. Let's, let's, I'm taking you to hell. You know those. I, I, I like Apostle. He took us to heaven yesterday. Said you are going to shine in the glory. Oh, he, he was he was bouncing in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, people who are in heaven will tell you, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. They will tell you that somebody touched the act and died. But we who are coming from hell with experience, we will tell you that they carried the act of covenant and they did not die. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Are we going? When the Philistine took the act of God, 
They brought it into the house of Dagon. Trouble they What is the act of God doing in the house of Dragon? What is the act of God doing in the house of the Marine Kingdom? Tell me, where is the head of John the Baptist? It's in the Marine Museum. Where is the head of John the Baptist? God punished the devil. The act of God was carried to the house of Dagon. Verse 3, go with me now. And when day of Asrop arose early in the morning, behold, Dagon was fall upon his face uh, to the earth before the act of the Lord. And they took Dagon and set him in his place again. Verse 4. And when they arose early on the morrow morning, behold, Dagon was falling to his face on the ground before the act of covenant. The head of Dagon put the palms of Dagon were cut off upon the dressing floor. Only the storm of dragon was left to him. Verse 5. Uh, 5. Take me 5. Take me 5. Take me 5. Take me 5. 5. 5. 5. Therefore, neither the priest of Dagon nor any came into the house of Dagon tread on the dressing floor of Dagon in Asherah into the city 666 six, six. thank you but the hand of the Lord was heavy upon upon them in Asherah and he destroyed them and smote them and melt and even Asherah and cast and and the coast thereof verse 7 and when the men of Asherah saw that it was so, they said, the act of God of Israel shall not abide with us. Your act is coming back. Your act is coming back. For this is the so upon us and upon that gone our God. I came to prophesy that witchcraft covered where they have kept your glory. If I be a prophet that I am, I prophesy your money will be too hot for their kingdom. I prophesy your treasure will be too hot for their kingdom. Your treasure will be too hot for their kingdom. Your treasure. Ezekiel chapter 8. You know what? Sit down. The act of God was a physical symbol of God's presence. When the act of God is carried, the presence of God is no more. But now you are going to see that the invisible, the intangible presence of God also traveled. We have a problem. When the act travels, we know there is no God. But now the invisible and the intangible and the intouchable presence of God also left. <laughs> Ezekiel, thank you. If, you know, Ezekiel is not a popular prophet. He's a hell prophet. And then he said to me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancient of the house of Israel do in the dark? See, when he, as you are sitting by that person you are sitting by, when it comes to your treasure, don't trust anybody. Huh. Nobody is your friend until we finish this meeting. Just drop the phone. Don't even pick any nonsense call. Even the person sitting next to you is a suspect. You don't know what they do in the dark. So don't let anybody speak any nonsense in your ear at this time. When somebody is even giving a comment, forget the comment. Find your revelation. Somebody can be there and be shouting, right on. He is, he is saying, right on, and he's ruining you down. So be very, very careful. Be arrogant for the first time. Be angry for the first time. Be unfriendly for the first time. Be an enemy to everybody for the first time. I'll die my face. He said, do you see what the house of Israel do in the dark? Man of God. 2013, I was afflicted with tuberculosis. 
You know how I was afraid. You see me like this. Anything will happen for my life. When I lay down, I know go see. The day where I go fast, God will help me to see. That night, we had Sunday school fasting. I don't mean women fasting. No. Sunday school fasting. It was on a Monday, breaking Tuesday. I heard in my chest, pew, like a needle. The first thing that came out of my mouth, hey, this Sunday school begin, and no one said, my whole day are fasting. Then I catch my mouth. I said, ah, what am I saying like this? Let me not become a colonial prophet. When I went to church, this man, I, I drank tea before going. No way. See, eh? sometimes they tell you who make you sick, you surprise. I'm telling you, ha, give up. You never, but men that good, I tell you about Kumba. As I went, the Sunday school teacher, Sister Fevo, you know Fevo, she's teaching. Why she's teaching? When she finished, I took the mic and the Spirit of the Lord pointed one child. He said, send that child away. I'm like, Holy Ghost, when have we started driving people from church? Sometimes don't preach to God. Though. Be careful. Don't be too revelation that you can even become a preacher to God. There are people who preach to their pastor. They quote scripture. <laughs> Bible is simple, but revelation is difficult. Bible now, 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 now free. Revelation also. Don't argue man of revelation with scripture. Be careful. Be careful. I was God. How are we driving people in church? I begin to quote all Bible to God. But because my chest was paining me, everybody is a suspect when you are sick. An angry man is so a hungry man is supposed to be an angry man. If you are hungry and not angry, you are ignoramus. So I said, go to the house. Don't come to church again. As she left, the other children fell on the ground and started crying. Papa, we came to your house in the night. I said, shut up. They say him more. You know, it's embarrassing to hear that they took my chest, but it was true. The children are doing open confession. They are there. Oh, Pola is writing advanced level now. Angel is writing advanced level. They are there. They have grown today. They were seven years at that time. Talking something that the girls are alive. I'm not talking. Children of my elders in Kumba Church. They said, we came to your house. This one said, I picked the money that was on your table. Did I not tell you that where is my money? Don't get what I'm talking. He said, there was 200 francs on your table. I picked it. But the money was there physically. But spiritually, they took it. He said, we cut your chest. We asked. It did not enter. We took knife. It did not enter. When we put the needle, it entered. I know you'll be happy for the axe and the knife. Why should we not cry for the needle? The fact that you didn't die does not mean you should be, you should be happy and just end like that. Say, thank God I didn't die. What of your car that is beyond repair? Leave that tongue here. He said, thank God I'm alive. Yes, you're already alive. Let's talk about what is lost, not about what is found. Stop getting proud over nothing. Say, am I not better? Who say you are better? How long will you remain a better? Shouldn't we go to best? I am telling you that they were doing something in the dark. Every man in the chamber of his, of his imagery, they have some image. For they say, the Lord seeth not us. The Lord had forsaken the earth. Which is at the first people to know that power not did that church again. They drove it. Anybody will tell you, we are not going to church again. Power is no more there. The person is a witch. If not so, how did he know? If you are a child of God and you sense there is no presence, then God must give you passion and burden to pray. But anybody saying the presence of God is no more there like it used to be, just leave the person from being associated to the person because they are the one that know what they... When they did all those abominations and he said unto me, 
return ye yet again, and thou shalt see greater abomination that they do. The presence of God, they carry the act to war, they seize it. But this time, they came to the house of God and performed abomination. Now it was not the Philistine. The Philistines send the spirit of the Philistine into Israelites. Witches can initiate our people and cause them to eradicate the presence of God. I don't want to talk discernment experience. But they can initiate our children. Because when they took the act of God, we seize it and bring it back. Now they set a battle in our own camp. That is what Putin is going through now. Is my man. Hallelujah. That is what he's going through now. When he is succeeding outside, they have initiated his chief to fight him now in the house. You get what I said. So that's what I said. Everybody is a suspect. Your mother can be the one holding your treasure. Your father can be the one holding your treasure. Your twin sister can be the one holding your treasure. When you have not seen your treasure, everybody is a suspect. How are you having a friend? And you are comfortable with the friend when he's not part of searching your treasure for you. Don't make friends with anybody in church that is not hot. They are witches. Don't make friends with them. Don't make friends with them. Sister B, how are you? Fine. Where are you going to? I will not tell you. Don't even lie. Say, I will not tell you. It's none of your business. Where I saw you yesterday, you are my sister in the Lord, but not my friend in the Lord. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord left. Your treasure must come back this night. I say your treasure must come back this night. Your treasure must come back this night. Here I am yo. Here I am yo. Can see see. Here I am yo. Here I am yo. Here I am yo. Can see see. Here I am yo. Here I am yo. Here I am yo. Can see see. Here I am yo. Here I am yo. E kondo ke bofio ana wa kanika E kondo ke bofio omfoke wa wa E kondo ke bofio ana wa kanika E fondo E fondo E fondo Efondo, Efondo, que bofio, fonfo, que wawa. Oh, 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 abasia, oh, iya mi, oh, iya mi, oh. Idara, 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 maya nan kasik me, komi daran maya come on, idara, maya nan kasik me, komi idara, maya nan kasik me, idara, 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 maya nan kasik me, idara, idara. He dara maya nani kasi kama Kobi dara maya nani kasi mi 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 Oh, he dara, he dara He dara maya nani kasi mi He dara, he dara He dara maya nani kasi Come on Kobi dara maya nani kasi Give me, give me now Kobi dara maya nani kasi Come on, come on, come on. Go be dara. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Give it. Go be dara, my yana, kasi me. He 
Hidara, 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 Mayana, they can sing me. Hidara, 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 Mayana, they can sing me. Come Hidara, Mayana, they can sing me. Come Hidara, Mayana, they can sing. Come on, Come Hidara, Mayana, they can sing. Come Hidara, Mayana, they can sing me. Come on Open your mouth, declare, my treasure is coming back. I declare your treasure is coming back. Everywhere they have carried your treasure. Everywhere they have carried your treasure. I call your treasure back. I call your treasure back. I call your treasure back. I don't know where they kept your husband. I don't know where they kept your money. I don't know where they kept your wife. I don't know where they kept your house. I don't know where they kept your anointing. Oh prophet, where is your vision? Oh man of God, where is your anointing? Where is your glory? Where is your husband? Where is your job? I decree he's coming back. He's coming back. Whatever has been buried in your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree and I declare. Your treasure must come back tonight. Amen. Your treasure must come back tonight. Amen. Your treasure must come back tonight. Amen. I enter into the calm of the Philistine. Yes. I enter into the calm of the Philistine. I bring back your Samson. I bring back your helper. I bring back your husband. I bring back your wife. Amen. I bring back your house. Amen. I bring back your money. I'm a prophet tonight. I declare your lust is coming back. Your treasure is coming back. Amen. Your treasure is coming back. Amen. I prophesy to 72 people under the sound of my voice. Tonight your loss is coming back. Tonight your treasure is coming back. Your treasure is coming back. Your treasure is coming back. Amen. Let me hear your man like thunder. What is the act of God? What is the act of God doing in the camp of Dagon? What is the camp? What is the act of God doing there? The right thing is in the wrong place. And you know when the right thing get to the wrong place the wrong thing the wrong place will fulfill the destiny of its wrong placement i prophesy to everyone with an empty hand that you are not seeing your husband but you have him in the dream you are not seeing your money but you have him in glory it's coming back tonight it's coming back tonight amen. let me hear the loudest amen, amen. restored one day every good thing must pass through receive and restore every good thing must pass through receive lost and restored Jesus Christ of Nazareth he was healing the sick the prophet of Nazareth one day the men were going to Jerusalem they were telling the story of a Jesus that is no more. They were telling the people, we used to have a guy. He was our friend. We are not seeing him again. They killed him on Friday. They buried him. This is sad today. We used to go for evangelism. But our Jesus has been buried. Every good gift will be received. But the devil will always show up. 
it's still what we have but anytime there are some people who get angry and they will go to the camp of the enemy to take what belongs to them I came tonight and I'm going to the camp of the enemy with 72 angry people we are going tonight we got to take what belongs to us I'm tired of no wife I'm tired of no husband I'm tired of no house I'm tired of limited anointing I'm tired of no glory I'm tired of no visa I'm tired of no passport I'm tired I will go to the camp of the enemy I will go to the Philistine I will go to the camp of the Syria I'm sending you now to go to Oku I'm sending you now to go to Banso somebody begin to go 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 I'm going I'm going Something is happening. Something is happening. There's an anointing. There's an anointing. There's an anointing. There's an anointing. I'm going. I'm going. Sister, let's go. Sister, let's go. Brother, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. experiences he has the experience of receive he has the experience of 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 loss he has the experience of restoration i came to prophesy your loss will come back 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 You lost the first boyfriend. Another one is coming back. You lost the first girlfriend. Another one is coming back. People who are restored knows how to take care of restoration things. They know how of what? See, Apostle, tomorrow, I will, I will show them 
the key to get to heaven the first time. But if you lost rapture, you must go to heaven. I don't want to go to somewhere now. To go to heaven. I'll show you tomorrow. But if you lost rapture, there's no way you will not endure tribulation. What are you talking like that? What are you talking like that? Who has ever kept the first thing? We always keep the 